boosters to several states today, including South Carolina, and it's forcing several other states to issue, issue uh, heat alerts. Melissa Hall joining us right now in the Weather Center. And Melissa, it, uh, it's definitely hot out there, for, to say the least. Uh, but you say Georgia, uh, no, no advisors or anything in effect today. And South Carolina, neither. Actually, the closest advisories we have to us over in the western part of the Florida panhandle. So not even that close. But you saw where they're expecting mm -hmm. those hottest temperatures out west. We're really fortunate here, actually, Chris, right. that humidity this weekend has been horrible. But today, it's going to be a little bit less stifling out outside. The radar is clear in our area. We have a stationary front. Again, I feel like every weekend I'm talking about a new stationary front being our weather maker, but this one going to be bringing pleasant conditions today. We've got some rain around us, but here things are going to be calm. Now the calm not going to necessarily be something you want today because we won't have a lot of wind to help break up the heat and the heat hasn't gone anywhere, but things are going to feel a little bit drier today. It is 79 out at Tybee and feeling like it's 81 with a light westerly breeze, but that's really the only spots we're seeing a breeze out by the coast. Everybody else, it is quiet, it is calm, and it is still warm, but we're a little cooler than yesterday. We actually see some 60s. Baxley, you're at 68, lower 70s, and through the day, while the daytime high temperatures are going to still be close to where they were yesterday, and we're going to have plenty of sunshine, and it's going to be incredibly hot, we're not going to be as humid because those rain chances, they're out of here today. They're going to return tomorrow. But in the meantime, we got plenty of sunshine. So if you're heading out to the beach today, oh, you're going to be lucky because you are going to have great weather. But grab the sunscreen while riptides aren't a risk. That UV index is going to be high and the temperatures are going to be high, but the humidity is not going to be as high. We'll be in the low 90s out of the islands. You can see the radar clearing. You can see the conditions calm over our area. Now, did you see the future track trying future cash trying to pop up a shower this morning? Well, it did and we didn't. So these showers this afternoon, I don't think they're ever going to materialize. If they do, it's not going to be bad. Rain chances are actually well off to our west over near Atlanta. Here, we're not expecting that rain to move in until tomorrow. It will again be hot, but like I said, not as hot when you look at that feels like temperature going to be closer to what it says on the thermometer. Not the case as we start the week though. Today, it'll be the hottest day you see on that 70 forecast, Chris, but ironically, it's not going to feel like the hottest day on that 70 forecast because tomorrow with those rain chances returning, the humidity returns, that 